What up, guys? Thank you for joining me again. This is Larry Williams, OAW Commandant Chief, and I'm here to bring you my first impressions vid of HBO's new hit original series, Game of Thrones. This show is fucking awesome. Awesome, dude. Like, man. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to review the season premiere and give you my thoughts on it. And uh, I apologize ahead of time now if this review seems to be a little incoherent. But like I said, I just got done watching it. Damn, dude. So uh, also, I'm going to be... Um, I'm not too familiar with the uh, with the original work that the series is based off of. So I'm going to be switching back and forth through... Uh, from my camera to the uh, the Wikia page. Uh, what I'm saying is um, I'm going to be looking on the Wikia page for some information. So bear with me for a minute. But pretty much, okay, Game of Thrones is based off of the um, A Song of Ice and Fire uh, book series um, by George R.R. R. Martin, who is also, uh, he is also one of the writers. Um, and I think he's one of the executive producers of the series also. Like he's, He's, um, he is big, like, he is majorly involved in this series. Um, I believe they said he is also the show's, uh, script writer. Um, and he's, like, he's, like, devastate, he's devastatingly, uh, loyal to his, uh, material. He, uh, okay, well, let, let's just get, let's just get on to, to what happened in the episode. Okay, so... Pretty much the gist of this story is um, it takes place in the fictional world of Westeros, which is about as big as South America. Um, and pretty much the gist of the story is that there are numerous noble families all biding for the Iron Throne, which is uh, the supreme sovereign of the entire uh, the entire realm. Um, there are multiple kingdoms in the realm, um, but all of them, uh, all of them pledge, pledge allegiance to the Supreme Sovereign, um, the Iron Throne, which is in the land, which is in King's Land, and I believe is the name of that one. And it is currently held by King Robert, uh, who assumed the throne after his father, who has just recently died, um, yeah, so what he okay? So um, when the when the when the series opens up, we get introduced to Ned Stark, who I'm letting you guys know now. Ned Stark, played by Sean Bean, he right now he's my favorite character in the series. Um, I, I well the second I found out, I'm, I'm okay. I, I'm gonna let y'all know about my history with with this series. Um, after I finish the review, but uh. So far, um, he's my favorite character, but I'll get into that after the review. So, this the series opens up with uh, we get introduced to Ned Stark, who is the Lord of uh, Winterfell, which is the the Northern Kingdom of the realm, and uh, we get introduced to him, his family, his kingdom, pretty much what goes on in Winterfell. Um, later on in the episode, King Robert. Takes a he travels to Winterfell and he pretty much tells Ned that he wants Ned to come to King's Landing with him and pretty much serve as the King's hand, which is his right hand man, his second in command. And should Ned do this, he will quintessentially become the second most powerful man in the entire realm. The uh, what they plan to do is uh, King Robert plans to wed off his son, his only son, with uh, Ned's eldest daughter. And that's going to, you know, create that uh, that bond. Now, Ned and King Robert already have a bond because they both served under, I believe it's Robert's father, uh, who was the previous king. Also, apparently Ned's sister was supposed to marry Robert, but she fell. I think she fell ill and died. Uh, I think she fell ill. They didn't reveal what happened to her in this episode, but she died and whatnot. So, you know, they've been uh, lifelong friends. Now, Ned is conflicted with this because for him, number one, uh, 
For him to become the king's hand, he would have to leave Winterfell. He would have to leave his family, leave his home, serve in King's Landing, um, which is very dangerous because it re it's revealed later on in the episode that both his father and his brother have done this before in the past to two separate kings, I think they said. Um, so yeah, so now it's pretty much Ned's turn and uh, he's very reluctant to do that. Um, also, we have, uh, oh shit, I did not get their, the characters' names, but um, the okay, the, the Targaryens who are a tribe, apparently they're the tribe who once held the Iron Throne, and they were cast out, and um, apparently, like, the last Targaryen king, his son and daughter are now the two who are uh, the heads of their clan, I suppose, and um, he, okay, the, the, oh, this is my shit, fucking love this song, okay, anyway, but, um, Okay, you guys, uh, stick with me through this review because I'm still learning all the characters' names. But pretty much the Targaryen, I guess you can call him Prince, uh, he, what he's doing is he's marrying off his sister to the leader of a southern tribe. This, this tribe of, uh, they, they, they're, they're depicted as the savages, but they're, uh, you know, I, I, I I'm not buying into this whole, oh, they're savages. Fuck that. What they are, though, there are a warrior tribe who their force is massive. And they are pretty much the uh, the ones in charge of the southern dominion of the realm. And he's marrying off his sister to the head of that tribe so that that tribe's army can align themselves with him so that they can take over the Iron Throne. And then... You have, going back to King Robert, apparently, we find out that the queen, King Robert's uh, wife, um, what's, what, how do you pronounce that, sir? Okay, I don't know how to pronounce her first name, but uh, the, La the, um, the Lannisters, uh, the queen, her brother, her, and her, the queen, her twin brother, and their other brother, apparently, they were the ones who killed the original king. They killed him. Robert got booted up to the to the throne, and now they're conspiring to kill Robert. And that's why he needs Ned's help because he can't trust anybody in the kingdom but Ned. Man, oh, uh, shaw, dude. And then, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just let you guys know. I'm gonna spoil the end of the first episode. So, guys, um, for the next minute. Skip the next minute if you don't want this spoiler. But the episode ends where uh, the the um, the Lannisters, the Queen and her brother, they were caught uh, pretty much banging each other by uh, by Ned Stark's ten year old son, and they killed him. They fucking killed him, dude. And that's how the episode ended. I was like, oh my god, they're fucking killing children, dude. This shit has me tripped out right now. Because I was growing attached to that little kid, man. And they fucking killed him off. Dude. They fucking killed that dude. Like, man. Whoo, man. So, oh, man. They, they knocked his ass out the window and he fell. Oh, man. Ooh, man, they are, oh man, so, um, so that's where this episode ended, so the preview for the rest of the season, pretty much what's going to happen, it looks like, it looks like Ned is going to go ahead, take King Robert up on his offer, he's going to head to King Landing, um, as the king's, uh, second in command, but, uh, the queen, she is wise to the Lannisters, she knows that they were responsible for her son's death. So there's a lot of drama that's going to be going on there. Man. This series is going to be fucking good, man. And uh I'm looking at the I'm looking at the number of books. Um apparently a Game of Thrones is the name of the first book. 
came out in 96. Um, there's pretty much been a book every two years up until 2000 where they took a five-year break um, to come out with the fourth book. And the fifth book, um, the fifth book is coming out in July. Um, man. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead. Okay. So now I'm gonna get into uh, into what's been going on with me with this series. Okay. First off, this has been a highly anticipated series for me because I first found out about this series um, in August. It was like the end of the summer, and uh, and I found out about the series. Um, and all I knew was this: it was a medieval series. Uh, set in a fictional world, and Sean Bean was in was in it. That's all I needed to know. And it was called Game of Thrones. And they the uh, the advertisement had the uh, the Raven that made up the little throne or whatever. And I was like, man, this shit looks this shit looks good, man. So I thought it was coming out in the winter because um, HBO they with their series they usually premiere them on Sunday nights. Um, the in the fall. Um, was Boardwalk Empire, which is a great fucking series. If you guys haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's great. Um, so Boardwalk Empire ended in the fall. Um, the same times that FX's Sons of Anarchy, which is like my favorite series on TV right now, that ended. So I needed a new show. I was like, oh man, I need a new show. I'm thinking Games of Thrones is coming out in the winter because the promotional, the promotion that they kept doing was called uh, Winter is Coming, Winter is Coming, which apparently is a phrase in the novels, um, apparently it's a it's a it's a term that the that the denizens of Winterfell use when they address each other, and it, it means an omen. It's uh um trouble is coming, danger is approaching. Uh, prepare yourself. Um, be aware, be alert. You know, winter is coming. That's what they. T that's what the. That's what the people of Winterfell tell each other. That's their term. And that's the promotion. That's what they use for the promotion for the series. So I'm thinking it's coming out in winter. Apparently it wasn't. Apparently it got, you know, April, you know, April 17th. I've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it. So yeah, I've been waiting for this series since almost August. And I've just been reading up on it. You know, they got Sean Bean. They got Lena Headley in it. Uh, Mark Addy. All of these characters. All of these actors, these are really good actors. I'm getting, you know, I'm reading about it. I'm like, man, this shit looks good. So, man, it fucking delivered, dude. Um, like I said, as so, as far as characters, man, so far, I'm, Ned Stark, I'm loving him. I'm loving his character. Um, him and his family, I, I'm, I'm liking that. Lena Headley, even though her character right now is appearing to be, like, the main villain, I, lo I love her, you know, the actress. I love her, so... Um, I'm loving her character right now. Mark Addy's character, King Robert, he's cool because I, I I I've been a fan of Mark Addy's work since uh, a King since a, a Knight's Tale, so um, he's cool. One character in particular that I'm re that I'm gonna be pay paying close attention to is the character of Snow, and Snow is Ned Stark's bastard son. There's something about him that intrigues me. I got a feeling that he is going to be a major player. Like, like right now, you know, he's the bastard son of Lord Stark. You know, he doesn't have the Stark name. And, you know, he has daddy issues and all that shit. But I got a feeling that something's going to happen where that boy is going to become a major player in the struggle that's going on. Um, uh, to take a quote from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean... That boy has a destiny about him. I got a feeling that he's going to be a he's going to be a a major player. He's going to be a big character. So he's a character I'm also paying attention to. And uh, the Lannisters br uh, brother, the uh, the uh, they call him the clever one. You know, out of the two Lannister boys, there's the pretty one, and there's the the clever one. Him. He's the mastermind type character, and he and I've seen him work. Uh, I need to get the actor's name. Um, uh, give me a minute. It's uh, Peter the Dinklash, the Clash, the Clash. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, but um, yeah, man, he's a good actor, and he can play that type of mastermind type. Uh, character so i'm looking forward to his character a lot um 
Oh, and he's a Gemini too. Fucking right. Anyway, but uh, but yeah. So all in all, this show is it's looking damn good, man. It's um, man, 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 man. It's looking good. It's looking good. Uh, I heard a critic or somebody said it was like uh, they they called it the Sopranos in Middle Earth. That's what this series feels like. It feels like the Sopranos in Middle Earth. It's fucking great. I'm loving it. I'm loving it right now. I'm loving this series right now. I'm excited. I'm going to be watching this. Um, so now getting to my next, getting to the probably the big question that everyone is asking. Larry, are you going to pick this up weekly to do weekly reviews? I'll be honest with you guys. Probably not because um, cause right now, uh, you know, shit is crazy on my end right now. You know, getting these videos out and whatnot. So whether or not I'll be doing uh, weekly reviews, um, I don't plan to doing them right now. But I'll tell you what, if this show, if this show is like, I mean, this show is good. If this show keeps putting out episodes, if this show keeps putting out episodes like this of this caliber, I, I might have to do reviews. I mean, look, it's. It's 16. I'm at 16 minutes right now in this review. 16 minutes review. And I didn't even talk about the episode that much. If they keep doing episodes like this, man, I might start doing weekly reviews of it. It's damn good right now. Um, So just not to make this video too long, what else I got going on? Uh, Treme, season two, HBO's original uh, hit series, Treme. Um... Which is a personal favorite of mine. I, I love the show. Season 2 premieres next Sunday. Keep an eye out for that. Because I'll be doing my first impressions of Season 2. Uh, next Sunday. Um, and also. Uh, for you guys who are looking for the Smallville and Supernatural vids. If you want to know what happened with those. I'm pretty much going to let you know. Smallville and Supernatural. Th th that show's fucking up right now. Okay. The episodes this week were bullshit. Like they've been for the past couple of weeks. What I'm going to do is. We got four weeks left of, the, of both series. I'm going to go ahead. I think we have four weeks left of both series. I know we got four weeks left of Smallville. I don't know if we have four weeks left of Supernatural. But pretty much this is the last season for, for, for both series. I'm going to wait until, this, I'm gonna wait until uh, May when the series, both series finish. And then I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do, pro I'm, I'm probably going to do a series review of, I'm, I'm gonna do a series review of both Smallville and Supernatural, and I'm also those are gonna be review slash rants, and I'm gonna tell you why they're gonna be rants because I got a lot of shit to talk about for Smallville, and I got a lot of shit to talk about for Supernatural. I'm gonna be real with you. I would much rather, instead of trying to pick this up in the last couple of weeks to do weekly reviews of both shows, I would much rather wait. Until both series are finished and then review those. You want to know why? Because just so you guys know, I've been watching fucking Smallville since it first premiered in October of 2001. I've been watching this fucking series for 10 years. 10 fucking years. Okay? My review slash rant is going to be fucking awesome. If possible, I'm going to see about getting my man Ziploc. And my man Hugo, and and you know what? I think that's also gonna be the first video where we do video conference. I'm a, I'm gonna try to get my video conference recorder and see if I can get that to happen. No promises, but I'm gonna try to see if I can get that to happen. Cause I'm gonna tell you guys, when Smallville and Supernatural end, those videos I'm either gonna do them together, or I'm gonna do them separate. But the review and the rant, I'm gonna fucking blow this motherfucker up. It's going down. So yeah, Game of Thrones. HBO, Sunday nights, 8 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock Central Time. They also, like, they've repeated the episode three times, like, at 9 and 10. It just came back on again. I don't know if they'll be doing that every week. Well, no, no, no. They probably won't be doing it every week because Treme is coming out next week, and that's going to take the 9 o'clock slot. I already know that. So, Game of Thrones at 8, Treme, 9 o'clock, starting next Sunday, and they'll probably repeat them right afterwards. Guys. <laughs> If you have HBO, these are awesome fucking series. Watch these fucking shows. Larry Williams, this is OAW Commander and motherfucking Chief. And I'm going to catch you cats here. Um, I got an album review to do this week, don't I? Mm. I'll tell you, and uh, to address that right quick, I'll tell you guys what. 
if I don't get my el- if I don't get my uh my album review out this week, the next time I do one, I'ma double it up. Like I'ma do like instead of the two albums, I'm gonna do like four albums or something. But um uh, Oh, this is my shit too. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna leave this video off, man. Dude, guys, Game of Thrones, winter is motherfucking coming. Woo! All right, I'm gonna catch you, Cash. Lay, I'm gonna go. Uh, actually, I need to hop on some writing, man, because uh, I've been itching to work on my manga for like a minute, like all weekend. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna knock that out right now. I'm gonna catch y'all, Cash, later. Be easy. God bless. Peace.